Hi guys, it's Leekie here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Leekie and I review a lot of Activerse, so if you like that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today we have a fun one, a fun video. Um, you know how some swimwear is like ridiculously expensive and some swimwear is just like ridiculously cheap? So expensive, I mean like, you know, Toluca for example, there is Buff Bunny, um, which I've also reviewed recently. So I will just link my whole bikini try-on um, playlist here for you and I've also reviewed some cheaper options for you uh, Zaffle for example we have Popville Beach Sissy so they're like more cheaper affordable options um, also you know I have thrown in a H&M video for a H&M video a H&M bikini for today as well which is also more of a affordable, affordable option um, so just your normal like no, it's not a department store I mean kind of because they also have H&M home right so but anyway so your normal like I guess mall store thing um, and what we're gonna do today is so it's like expensive versus cheap swimwear I will try to like blindly feel which of the things is the cheap one which one is the expensive one and then we will also try it on I will try it on to see you know if it's not just the feel of the fabric but also the fit of the fabric that can make a difference like that can justify the difference in price um, so yeah, let's do this, shall we? I have picked like some one pieces, I've also picked some uh, swimsuits, so um, we will see how things are going. Different fabrics as well, and different brands like I already mentioned. I'm just gonna blindfold myself so I really cannot cheat on this one. So let's, let me just quickly do this, and I hope I'm not getting any hair in, because that's never comfortable. And then I will be given the first, um, the first few items to test. Let's see. All right, we have, I think, bikinis. Now I just need to untangle and see which ones. Okay, I can definitely feel difference in fabric. So this one, this one feels a little cheaper. This one is more of a, like it's a louder fabric. It feels like a little more, a little less soft, a little less thick maybe. So this one is definitely a bit more soft. Um, and then the bottoms, I can also feel that these belong together and these belong together. So this set has a lot more structure. Like also if I feel the the bottoms, like these just seem like, like normal basic triangle bottoms whereas these have like a little more happening here. So I think this is the expensive one and this is the cheap one. Let's see if I'm alright. And yes, alright. So this is the Buff Bunny, uh, the Buff Bunny set, <laughs> one of the new Buff Bunny sets from this year from their swim launch and this beautiful lavender color. Um, I have forgotten the names of these pieces but I will just put them in the description box anyway or description box in the here whatever. The description box on the screen and uh, yeah this one definitely has a lot more structure than this set does. Although I will say the the top itself is better in terms of structure than the bottoms of this one. This is from Zaffo, by the way. Um, but like in essentially, I mean, they have kind of the same cut if you think about it, right? I think the Buff Bunny one has maybe even a little less coverage at the back there. Um, but we will see how this fits on as well. And yeah, they both have, have removable cup pads at least, so that's good. Don't want to see any nippage, especially the water, when the water is actually cold, which it usually is. Um, yeah, also nice we have here some adjustable straps on the Zaffel one, but the Buff Bunny one completely has like just, you know, this whole strappy situation so you can like adjust it anyway. Um, but both of these sets, these sets are pretty adjustable. But let's just see them on and see if there's also a difference in fit. Alright guys, not much is left to the imagination with this one. Um, the bottoms are very tiny, so, um, you know, <laughs> there's not a lot of coverage in the front or the back here. So not a lot of fabric, but you can adjust at least with here, with the um, strings on the side. The fabric feels okay, it's like normal swimsuit material basically, but yeah, it's like very low cut, so I'd prefer to come at least a little bit higher. And then the bikini top is just like a normal top, you have like adjustability like here, you can do whatever you want with this here. And then in the back, we talked about it already. You have the adjustable straps here and you can also adjust the tie in the back. So there's a lot of adjustability for the for both pieces, but like it would have been nice to have a little bit of extra fabric for this. Also judging, you know, by the fact that this is I think both a medium, so 
like not a lot of coverage for any part of my bottom area in a way. I don't mind having like the string situation here, but I really just want a little bit more fabric here in the front, especially. And like if I take it to the front, right, I'm losing it in the back and then it goes lower down and then also doesn't look good. Like who wants their bikini bottom to just hang shortly above the, the crag, you know? This is not what we want, so um, yeah. All right, here we have the more expensive version, basically. In a way, these two pieces are very similar, especially the bottoms, but I do feel a little bit more secure. I have a little bit more coverage, and also, like, this is staying up a little bit better. With the Zaffel, I felt like it was gonna, like, just slide down at some point, and in the back, you still don't have a lot of coverage. You could try to, like, get a little bit more, but, I mean, this was supposed to be, like, a minimum coverage bottom, but, yeah, like, I can move around in this now and not feel like things are getting exposed any second, so that's good. We also, again, have the element of adjustability here. Um, the fabric feels a little bit thicker and a little bit more structured in a way. And then the top is slightly different. We still have, you know, this that you can adjust however you want with these here. And then we have a very long string. So if you don't want to, you can also still tie it in the back. You can go back and forth. You can just tie it there, but then the string is going to be very long. And then you have like this cute, like situation here with the knots. I think if you wanted to, you could probably untie that and also just make it work a little bit different, but I think it's cute and yeah, like these can give you more or less coverage here as well. Same with this, you can kind of adjust a little bit. If you want a little bit less, you can kind of ruche up the fabric a little bit and then yeah, you can have it sit here, you can also have it sit here, but I personally think it just looks much better if you have it a little bit higher on your hips. And um, I usually never like to like these like low coverage bottoms because I always felt like I was just going to expose things any second. But I do like this one. Like it makes me feel confident and, you know, I think it accentuates my curves. So, yeah. All right, let's move on to the second set. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Let's see what we have. I think it's still, it's still a one, no, it's a two piece situation, exactly. So I will say that the top feels different than the bottoms a little bit. So this fabric feels a little, I mean, it's very soft. It feels thinner though than the fabric from the, Top, maybe, maybe not. I mean, this one has more structure because it also has the, it has like, I always forget what these are called, the, the, the wire underneath. Yeah, it's a wire, exactly. And this one is a little more, I mean, it has like a little bit of a, of a structure, but it also feels kind of thin, thinnish. So I would say this fabric still feels a little nicer than this one. It's, it's softer for sure. So I think this is the expensive one and this is the cheap one. Let's see if I'm right again. I always have to remember which one I put where. And yes, so we got some Toluca stuff here and we got some Haitian end stuff here. So uh, Toluca also currently is actually on sale. Um, there's rumors that they're gonna close down. So it's, it's a pretty big sale, 70% off on everything. So if you're interested, you should probably check that out. And again, you will find my Toluca video also on my channel that I've done before, but I'm gonna do another one. So, you know, when my sale stuff comes in from the sale that I bought, we have the, I think this was called the Ophelia Flutter Top in this beautiful vine color. And it does have wires. And I remember from when I tried this on that it actually was more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. It had actually like really good structure. It helped me in nicely. Cause I don't wear anything with underwires anymore these days. So, but like, I, I thought this was actually quite comfortable. We have adjustable straps here and then the clasp in the back somewhere. Yeah, here. So with some gold details here. And the bottoms actually do feel kind of different, but there are Chuluka, so they are, they are the same thing. Um, yes, which one is this way? So these are also in the vine color, but I think you can also kind of see that the fabric of these one, these ones is a little bit more shiny maybe. Um, these are nice and high waist, at least, uh, you know, they look nice and high waist when you just hold them up like this. Uh, seems also like we have a high leg cut here. And yeah, these feel like a little thinner than the Buff Bunny stuff, for example. But like, still like they have this soft feeling to them. And going on to the H&M one, I don't think this is available anymore, just saying, because <laughs> I've had this 
for a few years at this point, but I haven't really worn it too much. Um, because, you know, things happened and traveling was kind of not very possible. <laughs> so, um, we have a bandeau top here and you can see like it has a little bit of a structure here. And I used to only buy my bikinis at H&M when I was like a teenager um, because that was most accessible. And the light in their changing rooms like always just making you feel ugly and fat and like you could see every single like every single dip and whatever in your body and like all the cellulite and everything so I always hated doing it but like it was the best thing I could get my hands on when I was younger so yeah never had a great experience in the heat and I'm changing rooms <laughs> I think it might have changed these days I don't know but um you know and then the bottoms were also like never super high-waisted because that's the normal style right it's kind of like mid-waist um, not too high leg cut and this is what we can see here as well um yeah i think this swimsuit must be it's like a year or two old uh but they still have like things that look pretty cute uh on the models but yeah like i said i don't really go into h&m anymore these days to try on bikinis so but let's let's just see these two things on all right h&m swimsuit um right off the bat i can feel like the seams are like cutting in a little bit on the sides here so they, they have seams here on the side and I don't like them as much. And it's like this the, the normal fit that I've always had with H&M. It's like nice and low on the hips. When all I want these days is something more like this. <laughs> but it's it's not bad. I will say it's not bad. I really like the color of this. And yeah, I just wish it wouldn't cut in. And the, the seams here, I wish they had not had these hard, like, rough edge, whatever, hard edge seams. But I do like the top a lot, actually. It's not super supportive because you don't really have a tight band underneath but like still like i feel like you know this is not gonna go anywhere if you tie your tie well like i'm really bad at these things so i think like the top is very cute um also i don't think i've seen many of these things so you have adjustability because the straps are actually adjustable but in a cute way and then you have this as well right so there's a lot of options and then you can see my butt is starting to eat the bottoms a little bit <laughs> Um, and I think I like how high they are in the back, but I just wish they carried on a little bit more high waisted in the front as well. So like everyone else, I'm also a little bit insecure about my lower tummy area. And every time I'm like trying to show it on the camera and I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> so yeah, but like, I just want to say like, this is the normal cut like of normal bikinis from like everywhere kind of. And like, I just want this. <laughs> But I, I mean, it's personal preference as well, of course. I really like the color and I think it's cute. And I like the structure in it as well. So, right, like this is kind of nice. I don't know if you can see it really well, but like it has a nice structure and yeah, the bottoms are like, eh, the top is cute. And I mean, it, all in all, it wasn't super expensive as I said either, so yeah. All right, here's the Toluca set. I will say right away, like the bottoms just feel so much more comfortable not just because they're high-waisted but also because there are some seams at the at the edges here but i don't feel them and it feels so nice and soft and sleek so yeah and with this one still you have a good amount of coverage as well and if you wanted to of course like they could be even higher but this is the cut that these are so there's some that have a little less coverage but like this one is like goes to my belly button um you have nice coverage here in the front and in the back, it's like a little cheeky, but not too bad. Like, you know, this is the amount I'm like, I really like. And um, yeah, so like these bottoms are just much more comfortable than the H&M ones. And then the top, you again have a lot of adjustability. And like I already said, I, the underwire, I don't feel at all. Like, and you can like kind of tie and untie this here. So you can like, if you have bigger boobs, you can make it a little bit wider to adjust for you. But like for me, of course, I need it nice and tight so I'm tucked in not falling out so in a way this is kind of genius because this way you can see there's nothing gaping or anything then you have a flutter and the adjustable straps and yeah this basically so you, the only thing you need to get right is your under bust size because you don't have adjustability with the clasp here but I mean they have different options so you know it's, that's that's pretty easy I think to get right and then I think this was A to C cup or something and you can see why because it's you you can adjust this so that's nice um I will say top wise I like the H&M and I like this one but bottom the definitely the Toluca one is so much better feels so much better um it's not like I said it's not just the cut but also the material itself that feels a little nicer for that 
So um, yeah, the Tunica slightly wins over the H&M in the try-on as well. All right, let's move on to uh, set number three. It could also be one piece, so I guess like just uh, number three in general. Oops, let's see, I nearly lost this. All right, this feels interesting. What have we got here? Ooh, I think we have one piece this. Oh, this is hard. Like, I also this feels a little more flimsy, actually. But we have removal cup pads in here. We have um, straps. But yeah, it definitely feels a little thinner. And this one, I don't know, they don't, both don't feel like, it's, it's hard to make a decision on this one. This one also has removable cup pads. This one has, I don't know, maybe these cup pads feel a little nicer. But, okay, we have some, some, some detailing here. Ooh, we have adjustable straps. That's also nice. Um... Yeah, hard to say. I think this fabric feels a little... Because I think this one feels thinner, but this one feels a little cheaper in a way. Like, this one doesn't feel thick, but I mean, it doesn't always have to be thick to be good quality, right? So I think this is a hard one to uh, to judge. But I will say that this feels more like... Maybe... I don't think the price point should be very different between these two. But I would say that this probably still is the more expensive one. Even though I think that they both can be in the same price range in a way. So let's just see what we have here. Um, yes, okay, so we have a buff bunny suit. And I, th I, have never, I haven't even worn this yet. I think I got this uh, in a sale like before Christmas last year. And see, I haven't gotten to swim yet. But this is, um, I think they still have this one on sale. That's their, this is the Color Bay watch. It's not the Bay watch suit. Um, but like it had like the fun mesh and everything, uh, removable cup pads, like I said, and then in the back here, also like just a big mesh cutout. And then we have this old Buff Bunny Swim logo from last year. Um, and I think they updated, ha they have updated the fabric. This is a more shiny fabric that people didn't like as much because it does feel a little bit cheaper. So I think paying, having like paying full price for this was not, probably not the right call. Like, I mean, I didn't do that. Like I said, I, I got this on the sale. And the sale price is probably a little bit more appropriate because if I feel this one, like I said, the difference wasn't really big. I just think this one maybe feels a little less, less exquisite in a way, but like they were very close in terms of fabric. And of course this one had adjustable straps, which I like really appreciate, but it also of course could kind of like, you know, not look as like sleek and like whatever as this one. But just saying that, you know, the price point should be the same. Or similar for them and I think with this being with the sale price they are a little bit closer and this is probably what this is worth with the sale price um so yeah if you're interested in this you can probably get this on sale but let's just see these two. Oh, sorry I haven't talked about this one yet so this one was from Popville um and I actually really like this one because you're, like it's a little bit like you, you're staying modest but like it's a little bit still like sexy in a way because you have the the crisscrosses and the also have crystal crisscrosses in the back and you had like decent amount of coverage here at the bottom i remember that um and of course it's black so i mean i'm more of a color person but we have the colors and these crisscross details here and like i said adjustable straps which i really appreciate especially if you're more of a taller torso person which i apparently am because i always have problems <laughs> with like one pieces and stuff then you can kind of adjust it a little bit and you'll still be okay um, but yeah, let's see these two things on. All right, if you're looking for a little bit more coverage, but like still sexy moment, right? Like this really is doing that. And I mean, it gives you a little bit of a waist. Um, what I personally would have preferred is a little bit higher leg cut here. I just think it's more flattering for my body type, but this way you get a, a really good amount of coverage. It's still like letting a little bit cheek poke out, but it's not too much. And like it kind of stays there. So it's not gonna, it's not getting eaten by my butt as much as some other bottoms. And you really have like this fun, like, you know, straps here in the middle. But I don't feel like I'm gonna, you know, get exposed or anything. We have the removable cup pads here. And then nice thick straps. So I really also get a good amount of support. And then you have the adjustability here. And then just this nice 
you know, straps, uh, the straps in the back as well, the crisscross. And usually because I have a longer torso, sometimes like I get gaping here. But surprisingly, it's really not happening with this one. And the material is like sleek and it's a little bit shiny, I think, depending on the light. So if that's not your favorite, then I don't know. But like, I still think it's, it's, a, it's a decent material. It's like nice and thick, actually. Like, I'm not afraid of this being like not wet proof, basically. And yeah, you get a good amount of coverage, but you still kind of have a little bit of like sexiness. Of course, I don't know how this works with like tan, tan um, you know, when you get tanned or something. If you turn to get a tan, maybe this is not the best suit because it's going to look a little weird. <laughs> but I think it's super cute and like for the price, I think is really good. So, yeah. All right, Baywatch suit. Um, like I said, it's the color Baywatch, not the Baywatch suit. But... I will say that for my longer torso, actually the other one felt a little bit more comfortable. Like I feel like I get a little bit of gaping here in the mesh bag because of the longer torso and I can also feel it in the straps. So I think the adjustable straps actually do make a difference there. Um, but I do like the high leg cut with this one. So I think it's a little bit more flattering for my body type with the high leg cut here. But of course it also gives you less coverage in the back. So, you know. But I feel like a little bit more of a pull from everything because of the torso situation. Otherwise, this one, I think the material, the other one actually felt maybe a little bit thicker on the body. Um, we still have removable cup pads here. You have also a little bit of cleavage situation, still thick straps. And then you have this mesh like for like cinching in the waist a little bit. And then the back is completely mesh here. And yeah, so design-wise, there are some elements I like better here. But I think actually fit-wise, I might have liked the other one a little bit more, if that makes sense. So, but for these two, it's definitely kind of more of a tie. Um, yeah. But like I said, Buffalo did improve as well. Because for the price, I wouldn't necessarily say that they should be, like I said, already said. Like price-wise, the two swimsuits should have been kind of in the same range. Um, and they were not. But, you know. Uh, you can also let me know which one your favorite is. Like I said, I think I like the color of this one, but the fit of the other one was slightly better. All right, let's move on to number four. I'm excited to see what this is. Oh. All right, what have we got? I think it's sets again, like four. Oh no, hold on. What what do we no, I think it's a one piece. Oh yeah, this is a this is a one piece. Ooh, you have to remove a cup pads. What is this? And it feels pretty like high leg cut here. But also V in, like a, a deep V in the front and in the back. I mean this feels quite nice. And then we have this. This feels a little more flimsy, to be honest. Yeah, I think this is not this is not a competition. I think this one is the cheap one and this one is the more expensive one. And yes, I'm right. So this is from Zaffel. I actually like this one. It was super cute, but it, you know, it didn't work too well. It's just the one single strap on me, I think. Um, and then we have a Toluca swimsuit. So this one has a belt, which is why the belt is still attached to that. To that. And yeah, we do have, um, you know, in a removal cup pads here. We have the deep V that I noticed and uh, the thick straps here. I will also say they have swimsuits in long and regular. So I think I got this one in long because like I said, I noticed that I had a problem <laughs> with things. So yeah, I think this is a long. And highlight cut, which is super flattering, I think. I really like this tropical print and the belt kind of just helps accentuating your waist a little. And then you have this deep back situation. But yeah, the fabric feels quite nice. I think it might actually feel better than the the bikini, the two, uh, the, the set that we saw um, towards the beginning. Like it definitely feels like super nice, soft, not too thick, but like also like, you know, not too thin. Um, and then we have the Zaffo suit. So I know this looks a little complicated. It is kind of like this, and then you just tie the ties to the front. You'll see that when I try it on. And here we also do have removable cup pads, but in a way they're not like a perfect fit for this for this top. 
We have a clasp here in the back also to, you know, clasp things together. And you might have guessed by what was happening here, you have a very high leg cut as well from this thing. And then one adjustable strap, and it's unfortunately a very thin strap, and I think I was missing a little bit of like support on the other side. I don't think it stayed up too well also because it was a little short on me. But let's see these two on. All right, I already said it. the first time I put this on in my original Zaffo video, I really think this is super cute. It's really, really um, revealing. And it's also very complicated to put on if you don't know what you're doing. But I think it's so cute, it's so flattering. But yeah, like, so my torso is too long to kind of like hold up this part without a strap. And this part is fine because it has the strap. But like, there's so much pull on this that, you know, if I let go for too long and then move, um, it's just gonna make its way down. But otherwise, it's so cute. Like, it's so flattering because like your hips are just like, bam, you know? And you still have a decent amount of coverage. I mean, this is like one of these more cheeky bikini bottoms in a way in the back. So you just really look like you're wearing a bikini but like a super high-waisted one. And then in the front, we just have, on the, on the side, let's, let's move on to the side first. It's really just like so much skin and the front is also like, what is happening? But it's so flattering. Like, I had really only put this in my cart because I was like, this is interesting. <laughs> but I think it's so cute and I really wish this would work for me because I would definitely wear it because it is so cute. It's so flattering if you have like bigger hips and a smaller waist. It's like so good. But yeah, I need the second strap. <laughs> um, and like I said, the material is also just like it's normal. It's nothing terrible or anything. And I think I did wet test this one and it was still good because it's double lined. So I didn't see anything uh, during the wet test for that. So that's also not a problem. We're not, this is not Kylie Swim, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I think it's so cute. And someone really needs to make this, but like with two straps, please. <laughs> All right, in a way, these two swimsuits have a lot of parallels. We have this kind of belt situation. Of course, in the other one, it was essential to kind of hold the swimsuit together. And we have a very high leg situation, but of course, you can still get more coverage in this one here. Um, I will say that even though I picked long, I can still feel like a little bit of a pull on the shoulders, on the straps here, but it's not bad at all. And yeah, you can see it's very high leg. I could probably pull a little bit higher if I wanted to. But then you just have to make sure it's not rolling over. And um, yeah, you, you can wear it with or without the belt because the belt is not like not tied to anything in a way. But I think it's like cute to accentuate the waist a little bit more. And um, we also have like more of a deeper V situation. So if bigger boobs, you'll probably get a little bit more cleavage from this. And then on the side, a lot of leg. And in the back, uh, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. And my bottom, my bottom is eating these again. And then we also have a low back here. So it's cute. Um, this one I can definitely wear without having to hold onto something. Like it's gonna stay. <laughs> and that's the biggest advantage of this one. And I also think the material feels a little bit nicer. It feels a little bit thicker and I don't know, more structured maybe. Um, and I also think the cup pads are less like obvious. I know with the other one, like I always felt like the cup pads really didn't mold too well to my body with these ones. I don't even know just that they that they're in there so i think that's good um so yeah the Tuluka swimsuit definitely wins even though like i said i think someone needs to do that other cut but like with two straps i would buy it immediately all right we have one more set left one more number basically one one more round so let's do this. All right, let's see. Okay, we have something structured. And yeah, so this is a bikini set, but um, I have the bottoms lying next to me because uh, the bottoms from one of these sets was not the same as the other one, so it wasn't ribbed and that would have given it away, I think. Um, but these tops are very similar. So we have, we have this V here in the middle, as you might see. But I will say, so they're both ribbed and they both feel quite nice. But I think this one feels nicer on the inside than this one, which is saying something, I think, because that's what's against your skin, right? They both have removable cup pads that also feel pretty decent, not too thick, and like they would be good. And then strap wise, we have one strap here, but we have triple straps here. And this one only has like a seam underneath, I think. Versus this one has like is a bit more long lined, so I think the ribbed fabric itself 
feels soft on both sides, but I think this one is a, t is a tad softer. So I'll say this is the more expensive one and this is the cheaper one. So let's see. Yes, okay, so this is uh, the Buff Bunny, I think it was called the Bermuda Top from this year's swim launch. And we have a beach sissy bikini here that I just recently got reviewed. And this is why I think the bottoms would have given it away. It's just like, it's a, it's a normal uh, bottom. So like normal as in a normal swimsuit fabric bottom, not a ripped uh, fabric. And so the Beach City people, they're all, and the Popville people actually as well, they have like a lot of mix and match sets. So you buy them like this, but it looks kind of like you mix and matched it. And it's cute. Um, so don't get me wrong, I like that, but still, you know. And with this one, we have the matching uh, ribbed shark bite bottom. But let's talk about the Buff Bunny set first. So we have, like I already said, the Bermuda bikini top, I think, and the shark bite bottoms. It's like the super nice ripped fabric that I already told you about. We have this V here to give you a little bit of cleavage. We have triple straps to give you extra support. And then it's more like a long line bikini top, I guess, because it's not a sports bra. Um, the Buff Bunny coin here in the back. And yeah, removable cup hats, which is always good. And then the bottoms are the shark bite bottoms. So you can reverse them. You can wear the straight across um, thing to the front. Or if you wanted to, there is a little bit of a V here in the back. I prefer to wear it this way, so that's what I'll show you today. If you want the other one, if you want to see the other way, then you can watch my Buff Bunny Swim launch, Swim 2022 launch video, um, where I do both both directions, basically. <laughs> and the rib fabric is super soft and nice, and it also, like, forgives a lot, you know? So I think that's why I really like this rib fabric from Buff Bunny. This bottom is a little more cheeky, a little more high leg. And then we have the Beach Sissy set here. Um, I really like the top because it's like a nice turquoise, like not turquoise, teal color, a little bit greenish. Um, we have the same V. I don't think it's as deep because the top doesn't go as high up. And yeah, the inside feels a little less nice than the other one. But I mean, the, there's also a price difference. So it maybe like, it makes sense, I think. Nice ripped fabric. It's also different because it's like horizontally ripped, not vertical, like the Buff Bunny one was. So you can see that. We have adjustable straps here in the back. Adjustability is always good. And then just a clasp here as well. And then the bottom, like I said, is normal swimsuit material. And this one is very high leg and also pretty long coverage, I would say. But let's see these on. All right, here we have the mix and match set. And one of the negative points of this one one of the bad things about this one which is also what happens a lot if you have like cheaper you know or like more affordable options you buy the set in one size so you don't like say okay i want the top in this size and the bottom in this size but you have to get it as a set so this is why i usually go with the medium but then like i think i have a little bit of extra space in the top because of that and then you can see the bottoms are a little tight they're cutting in a little bit like it's still fine they're still covering me up but I would have loved to be able to get different sizes for this, you know? So that's one point and that, that I don't like about this. But otherwise, I really think this top is super cute. You don't really have, you just have a seam underneath, but you have like this cute V detailing here. Um, I don't have a ton of cleavage anyway, so, you know, I guess if you have bigger boobs, you might get a little bit more. Um, and then just the adjustable straps in the back. And of course, again, just the clasp, so, if you, um, you know, if you have to go for a bigger size because of the bottoms, of course, you need to kind of make sure still the, the band fits nicely. It's okay, but like it could be a little bit tighter to give me also a little bit more of a push. There's definitely a bit more space here. I really like this ripped fabric though and the color. And then the bottoms, I think it looks cute together, but like I said, these ones are a little tight. I like the cut though. They're nice and high-waisted, high leg. And then a little bit cheeky in the back, not just a little bit, I guess, but cheeky. And of course, my butt also starts eating these, but that's just normal. So I'd never have this as a critique point because that's just what happens. And, you know, I've learned to live with it. So, but yeah, I think it's a cute set, but I, I wish, I wish it was available in like different sizes for top and bottom. And also I will say that, of course, the fabric feels a little bit different. It's okay. It's not the greatest swimsuit material I've put on my body but it's also not the worst and it fits okay. So yeah. All right, a bright pink number. I would say color wise, I think I preferred the dark teal, <laughs> but this is not what this is about. Um, 
these bottoms just feel like a thousand times better than the ones I just had on, of course, because they fit nicer. Because <laughs> uh, I could pick two different sizes. Also, these are still medium, but the rib fabric is just like so insanely stretchy and it's like so soft, like really nice. Nice and high waisted too. You can see they have a little bit more fabric on the sides and of course that's preference. Like the other ones were a bit more like this, but you know, that's very personal preference. Um, but yeah, nice and ribbed, soft and stretchy. A little bit more cheeky, I think. But like these don't move as much. There's still a little bit more space, a little bit more stretch. So my butt doesn't eat them as much. And then the top, you can see how similar these are in a way with the with the V. I think this one is a little bit deeper in deep. Maybe I can get a little bit more cover, like covered cleavage if I like squish the boobs a little bit more in. Um, and then this band, this long line band, I will say you have quite some support because the, this band here underneath the boob, boobs right away is quite tight. And then the double straps for extra support. And the back is just like very simple. So this is kind of more like sports bra sizing in a way. So it's gonna be harder to take this off than the other bikini set, but like it also just fits a little bit better, a little bit more, you know, and support wise, I think this is a little bit like I, I feel more secure in this basically. Um, and yeah, the material is just like feels so much better on the skin as well. So this one definitely wins. All right, guys, it's conclusion time. So I think from the field test, we can take away that um, it is th there is definitely a difference in fabric, which might justify the price. And also I will say fit wise, most of these pieces, most of the expensive pieces also actually did fit a little better. Not all of them. So some of the cheaper ones were also good in terms of fit. Um, I will also say that most of them were actually pretty cute. I mean, the Zaffa one, I still think it's cute. I don't know where I would wear this because it's just gonna fall off my boob here, but I still think it's very cute, okay? So cuteness we have for all of them, but definitely like in terms of fit and feel, the expensive ones do win. Of course, there is, you know, th there is a difference, but like how much should this difference be in terms of price? I certainly think some things, I certainly think some things were overpriced. Like I said, this Buff Bunny swimsuit, for example, for the sale price, not a problem. Full price, maybe not. Um, but like I also said before, they have updated their swim fabric since, because that was from last year. So they've updated it. It's definitely much better now, as you might have been able to see with the Lavender two piece, which really fits perfect, and the 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 fabric feels really nice, or like the ripped one. Um, so they have also learned a little, you know. Um, but yeah, sometimes I think some things maybe are a little overpriced. Also, if I think about the full price Tuluka, like one pieces, for example, um, maybe that's also a little much, but when they were, I think I got the one piece that, I, that I've showed here today, I think I got like at the 30 or 40% off, which I think was an okay price for it. Um, and now with the 70% off, you know, who knows? It's even better of a deal. Um, so yeah, but I do think that sometimes expensive swimwear can be worth it. If you just want something for like, oh, you know what, uh, I have that one beach day a year, then as long as you feel good in it, I will say I think I feel most confident in the more expensive pieces, but that's also because they just fit me a little better. And yeah, so I think like as long as you find something that fits your body well, that makes you feel confident, I don't think it matters how expensive it is. So... It's completely up to you. Um, I hope this video helped you a little. Um, there's probably gonna be more, there's definitely gonna be more swimwear reviews coming this year as well. In case you're wondering, um, let me know your thoughts down below. Maybe you have like some others, like favorite swimwear brands that I haven't reviewed yet. Let me know uh, in the comments as well. Cause there's, you know, summer's just starting. So there's a lot of opportunity for that as well. Um, and yeah, otherwise you can follow me on Instagram here on my handles. Um, you can also DM me there, but I'm more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. So just be aware of that. So if you have any feedback, like any suggestions for new brands, any comments, just leave them here and I will get back to you. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, give it your thumbs up. And also if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel so we can continue growing. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.